What's going on, Bomber fans? Today I'm going to cover some recent Blue Bomber related news and notes. Okay, getting right into it. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders have signed Winnipeg product and former Winnipeg Blue Bomber Jordan Reeves. Now, this wouldn't really be considered a massive signing, but to me it just really irritates me as a Bomber fan that Saskatchewan seems to be stockpiling Winnipeg natives and Winnipeg uh, produced football players and it just really irks me you know I want to see these guys playing for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers last year they drafted Nick Dembski who I think is going to have a fantastic CFL career he did battle some injuries last year but he looks like a very promising young uh, CFL slot back I really hope that he ends up testing free agent market as soon as he can and potentially comes home to, to Winnipeg. But yeah, Jordan Reeves was in, if you'll remember, he's the son of Blue Bomber legend Willard Reeves. But since his father was living in Canada at the time that Jordan Reeves was, was born and has remained living in Canada, Jordan Reeves counts as a non-import in the CFL, which is, which is great. He played basketball in his college years and actually hadn't, hadn't played football for very, very many years until last season he signed with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and I think that uh, he was simply too raw at that point in time to you know crack a CFL roster so we'll see how he does I hope he does well but you know gonna bother me to see him wearing uh, green this season in more bomber focused news Gary Lawless is reporting that Avon Colburn has signed as the running backs coach in Winnipeg and if you will Remember, our current running backs coach is Buck Pierce, which leads into the other part of today's news, which uh, Gary Laws is also reporting that Buck Pierce is getting a promotion from running backs coach to being the, the quarterbacks coach on it. And to me, that's pretty exciting. Like I think that one thing I keep hearing is that you need to be a good offensive coordinator in the CFL. You need to have quarterbacking experience, almost all the best offensive uh, coordinators in the CFL have quarterback playing experience and uh, I think that it's really going to help having a quarterback's coach who has that uh, CFL experience uh, and it's recent CFL experience so I think it's going to really help out uh, Drew Willie and uh, Matt Nichols and whoever our third string quarterback ends up being this year having you know a guy like Buck Pierce uh, to talk to who understands the game from their perspective and maybe one day Paul Police uh, does really well. He might end up getting a head coaching job somewhere. And uh, possibly Buck Pierce can keep on moving up the chain and, and become the uh, offensive coordinator one year uh, or one day. So, yeah, there you have it. That's today's uh, Bomber-related news and notes. And uh, I hope to come back again soon with another video. If you like this video and would like to see more from me, please click on the subscribe link below. Also, as always, I really appreciate hearing from you and, and uh, I would appreciate your opinions. Uh, maybe you didn't agree with something I said. Maybe you did agree. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments below.